friends, coming to you today with a little St. Patrick's Day decor. I don't normally decorate for St. Patrick's Day, and with Easter being so late in April this year, I've really got two months till then, and I'm just not quite ready for rabbits and eggs just yet. I just wanted something green on my front door for three, four weeks. So I went to Dollar Tree, spent a couple dollars. I picked up this green tulle skirt over, they have just a little section of St. Patrick's Day in my store. And then I picked up this little bouquet of green carnations and the gold coins. Not crazy about the flowers, but I do like the glittery coins and I'll probably use those for sure. So I have this vision in my head that I want to make the base of my wreath with an embroidery hoop. But when I went to my stash i pulled out a few little decorations i had from last year these were from dollar tree they ha still have them this year and i'm just recycling them i had some little glitter shamrock clover things some green and white pipe cleaners and a roll of christmas gold ribbon that will work just fine to create my wreath base I'm gonna take the screw out, and with these two little things on the side, I'm gonna flatten those out. Every hoop, it's not totally flat, but I think it'll be flat enough where I can push it through the skirt. Okay, I wanna show you the inside of my skirt. I just put a slit right there with a pair of scissors, and here is my embroidery hoop. I'm gonna hold it like this, and just push it through the inside of the waist. Just take your time, it will go through there, because the waistband is a lot wider than an embroidery hoop. I'm gonna keep scooting until I get it all the way and then I'll show you what it looks like. There now, and this is where my two ends meet. You could put a spot of hot glue or you can take a rubber band, that's what I'm gonna do, and just wrap it around those two little flaps that you bent under. Just something to keep the, the hoop in place. When you get ready to embellish it at the end, no one's going to see this rubber band. It just secures the hoop so it doesn't fold into each other. All right, so now I'm going to straighten this hoop out and show you where we go from here. The hoop is in the skirt now. So what I'm going to do is I've got four little bread ties here just because it's real thin wire and it'll work just fine. I'm going to gather up this tool, the top and the bottom and the left and the right, and I'm hoping that it will kind of look like a four leaf clover. Now right here where my hoop was rubber band and the little slit in my waistband, I'm gonna put a bow right there so you're not even gonna see that little underneath part. I'm gonna gather up the tool and show you what it looks like. Okay, let me show you what I got going on here. I ended up switching out. The bread ties just weren't long enough by the time I bunched up the tool and the little satin ring, uh, just so I just had some little white wire pieces. They're not gonna show. So now I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of play with these little green puffs and try to make it look more like four leaf clover, just kind of puff them out. And then with some of this um, old Dollar Tree stuff, I'm gonna just hot glue some of these little shamrocks on there, put me a big bow on here, and maybe the flowers. Not exactly sure what I'm gonna do, but let me just play around with some of the embellishments, and then I'll hang it up and show you my finished project. Okay, y'all, I had to put it on my back door here because it's so wet and rainy outside, but I'm gonna move in closer where you can see. I was kind of going for the four-leaf clover look, and I wouldn't say that's your immediate thought, but I do love the way it turned out. It's about $3 worth of supplies that are still found at the Dollar Tree. You'll just need to find you an embroidery hoop and some gold ribbon. But I think it turned out so cute and I'll have something on my door for the next few weeks until St. Patrick's Day. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope it inspires you in some way. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.